Hi, this is Mark Hauser, and I know I'm late, dude, man. It's Friday. Oh, yeah, I know. Don't worry, I'm doing two today. So, today we're going to be talking about engineers. And um, just remember, we're from PANA, Property Adjustment National Association, and we're here to basically help you to design and understand how to put together your own public adjusting firm, educate you, and support you with uh, mentorship and everything else. And that's uh, www.adjustingschool.com adjustingschool.com okay my phone number here is 215-499-8629 now let's quick get into this engineering <clears throat> engineering is uh has a lot of different little little things we're going to just touch on a lot of things we go into way more information on the site you know that but let's quick talk about engineering Engineers are when the insurance company goes, the insurance assessor goes, well, you know, I, I think I need me an expert. So I'm going to get me an expert to help me on this because I can't properly say no to this without having an expert and doing all my documentation and my due diligence and everything else. So they'll get their, ex, their expert, which is an engineer, which has been working with this company for forever. So there's no sense of that they, you know, that they're not going to set this up so it's going to help them. And you do know that you can get your own engineer. But let's talk about what, what engineers do do. Engineers do talk about building and structure, but they do not talk about what? They do not talk about cosmetic. Cosmetic is just important as the building and structure. It's, it all talks about the valuation of the home. And valuation of the home includes cosmetic as well. Okay? So... Uh, remember that they're not going to be talking about this. You do have the right to have access to the to the reports, and you do have access to you do have the right to actually uh, talk to them and find out why, or at least the adjuster why that he's going to get you the information why they why they they did not talk about anything about the cosmetics. Okay, now also and when you need your own engineer, this is a little tip. I'm going to give you this little tip that's going to make a big difference. When you need your own engineer, instead of sitting out there and paying out money for him. Why not hire it? Doug Weed used to tell me, if you don't have it, hire it. And it's true. You can hire an engineer that has their license in building construction and understanding that they not making anywhere near as much as they would be making with you in being a public adjuster. You just make sure that they keep their license in force. And when you need to have uh, uh, them to work on a claim, you hand that claim to them. Remember, you're overriding the claim to begin with by about 40%. So they're making really good money, and you're adding another claim for them, and they can then utilize their, their license involved with that. So um, that's pretty much about engineers for, for what I want to go over with you today. We definitely go over more in the site. So uh, remember, Property Adjustment National Association, uh, www.adjustingschool.com. I'd love to be able to talk to you, answer any kind of questions I have or can for you, and um, you have a good day.